Hi friends, we are getting ready and we are preparing the boat for a big departure, for a big trip uh, but we still have a lot of things to do before we can let go of our moorings and I think it's gonna be a bit of an emotional departure because we are leaving the place that has hosted us for over a year and a half, I think That's true, but we'll always be able to come back and uh, there's a big world to discover outside Yeah, a big world to discover outside and a big world to discover inside I'm Giulia and I'm Italian, and he's Mess from Denmark. And this is our home, Alba. After years living in the city, we gave in to the call of adventure and moved on our sailboat. We're currently sailing in the south of Italy. Subscribe to the channel and join us aboard for new adventures every week. Leaving is not easy, whatever our initial situation. Leaving behind the pillars of everyday life, the home in which we feel secure and our habits requires willpower. For us, the ordinary world is difficult to leave behind because it is filled with so many small joys. Our days on Alba in Sicily are just like that, almost always lit by the sun, cradled by the sea and blessed by Mount Etna, the great guardian of these places. But to be honest, even when daily life does not offer all these joys, it is still difficult to leave it behind. Because somehow, we have the capacity to become attached to the pains and difficulties we are familiar with and to feel comfortable and protected in our discomfort. To me it sounds a bit strange to think about our life here on the boat in Sicily as the daily life we're about to leave because just one year and a half ago this was our destination, this was the dream life we really wanted to get. Back then our daily life was the one we had in Copenhagen, in our apartment, in the city, with our office jobs and everything else. We left that daily life to enter the extraordinary world of boat life, of life in Sicily, in the south of Italy which now has become our starting point, the ordinary life we're about to leave. Yeah, it's true. The only certainty in life is that things always change and to move ahead we always have to learn new things and develop ourselves. If we linger too long, we run the risk of giving up heading off for fear of leaving behind the known world and for fear of what we will have to face in the new world ahead. This does not only mean giving up exploring wonderful places, but also missing the chance to see the world in a new light, to have new experiences and to learn about ourselves and become our true selves. If we do not overcome indecision, it is to our true self that we will say goodbye. So what can we do to overcome indecision? We can grasp all the lessons that the life we are about to leave behind has imparted to us and we can prepare for our departure as best as we can. Our main boat project in this period is to make Alba our boat self-sufficient from an energy point of view. We want to spend long periods at the anchor without going into port and we really need more energy capacity. After hours and hours of research and studying, Mess has finally found a solution. We want to add 400 watts of solar panels to the boat, half on the Bimini and half on the spray hood. And then we want to substitute the old batteries with new AGM batteries. Finally, we want to uh, hook up the panels to the battery. We've got a big delivery with the solar panels we had ordered and now we are gonna go to Catania and bring them together with the canvas of the Bimini and the spray wood and we hope that the sailor makers can find a solution to fix the panels to the canvas. We found a good solution with the sales maker. Now we just have to wait and see when they are able to deliver the final work. Ok, 
Okay, so now we're gonna go out and drill some holes. Uh, we need to pass the cables for the sonar panels through the deck. Uh, and we also need to install these uh, guys here that keeps out the water. So the holes we're making here on the deck under the spray hood, we'll go down to the bathroom and the cables are gonna run under the ceiling um, and then down behind the holding tank and into some bigger pipes. They will lead to the charge controller and then to the batteries. With commitment and willpower, we got all the cables to the battery locker, which was not easy. The boat is full of cramped places. Okay, bye. And finally, the boatyard called us to tell us that the spray wood and bimini were ready to host the panels. And so, the project that we had thought about for so long finally began to take shape. The only thing that was still missing was the electrician to come and do the final connection of the batteries. We didn't have the right tools, but apparently it was too early to sing victory. And since now we're a bit blocked in our boat jobs, uh, it's a good time to take a break and maybe dedicate some energy to our emotional preparation for departure. Sicily was a wonderful place to live a part of our lives. We immediately fell in love with the Baroque of Catania, the beauty of Taormina, the divine aura of Agrigento, the secrets of Syracuse and Noto, the mythological places of the Aeolian Islands and the very rich Palermo, where we even considered moving. But if we have to choose one place to pay homage to the entire island, we would go to the one that made us feel most at home, Mount Etna, the volcano. Yep. Questo qui è il posto dove siamo venuti una delle prime volte. So what did you learn from Sicily? I learned to appreciate the value of contrast and diversity. I mean, you're walking on black, pitch black volcanic rock and then you have the white snow coming down. Then you have the sea there and a the mountain here. You have uh, Normans and Byzantine remains and so many different things. And Sicily is a bit like a human being made of so many different parts that don't necessarily make sense one with the other, but they just create a beautiful, unique creature. So what did you learn from Sicily? I think one of the main things I learned was uh, that there doesn't have to be this sharp division between work and private life. So the Sicilians, uh, to a foreigner like me from the north, it seems like they're always working. And in the beginning I felt a bit bad for them. But since then I've seen that they're not actually always working. It just seems that they are at work a lot, but they treat their work as, as free time and they enjoy work in a different way. They bring family into work, friends into work, personal relations. So really it's not that they are having this strong segregation between private and work life. No, they put everything together and they enjoy everything in the same way. I thought about what you just said about the way in which Sicilians work and another thing that I learned is to be a bit less in a hurry with the things I want to get done uh, and to stop wanting to control everything uh, because in the end you're going to get things done when you need them done. Sicily is a universe that knows when you have an urgency, when you need something done and then th there you're gonna get the thing, not before. I've learned a bit to trust the universe. Yes, we have to trust the universe. Things come in their own time.
And finally, the day came when the electrician finished the job. And we weren't even too surprised that it was the very last day before our departure. Just 12 hours before we cast off our moorings. That's how it works here, but I guarantee it works. And so, we're finally ready. When before setting off, we prepare ourselves well and calmly gather all the lessons that our everyday reality has to offer us. Then we understand more fully our desire to explore a new world. It isn't just about traveling and filling our eyes with beauty and scenery. What each of us is really looking for is a new key for the other universe, even more vast and boundless, that we have within us. And in this sense, the departure from our everyday life to explore far away and unknown places is nothing more than our personal physical and material expression of the courage to expand the known world with all its prejudice and beliefs to reach a wider galaxy. Only by going beyond the confines of a limited view of life we can venture out to discover our great inner universe. And as we navigate, we can enjoy every glimpse that the journey can offer us. Thank you, Sicily. You have made us feel at home. Fair winds, Alba. And fair winds to all of you who, a bit like us, decide to embark on your own great inner journey to the places of the spirit. You're welcome aboard. And stay aboard with us for the next episode, in which we will sail towards sunrise and have over 130 miles to cover. <laughs>